What's up, YouTube? No Limit Baby, back with another one, man. And today we're going up against the Indianapolis Colts. And uh, it's looking like they have a good offense, but man, they're three and six, and we're four and four on a three game win streak. So this is a big game, man. We can't lose these little petty games like this. We can't fall asleep and, you know, just let these underdog teams come in and catch us lacking. So we're not going to sleep. But anyways, let's get straight into this and look at the unstoppable force. Coach, you're tasked with facing the Colts and their high-powered offense this week. Where does stopping them start? I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Man, I'm thinking stuff in the run because... They have Matt Ryan, I think, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm more worried about their running back, Taylor. I can't think of his first name right now, but I'm definitely more worried about him. So we're going to try to stuff the run. That's for sure going to be game plan number one because, you know, Matt Ryan, if we take away that run game, Matt Ryan has to beat us. So here we go. Hold the Colts to 75 or fewer rushing yards. Man, we got Max. Oh, Max Crosby is injured right now for one more game so but hey I think we can do it we have a pretty stacked defensive line taking a look here George Fant he's wanting such a low offer okay man we're gonna bump this up a little bit and try to give him two years this is what we're doing man we're gonna give him a two-year deal but we're not gonna give him as much money as he's pretty much looking for but uh this is what we're gonna offer man if he wants it he can stay Okay, and now he's saying this. So George Fant probably won't be on the team next year. He doesn't seem like he wants to re-sign. Now Trayvon Mullins, we might have to franchise tag Trayvon Mullins. I'm not going to cap. Jalen Brown, though. Jalen Brown is playing pretty good. I'm going to try to get him back on the team right now. For Jalen Brown, we are going to give him a four-year deal. Um, just to be like a vet player for us. But... It kind of sucks. He doesn't have no tags, but uh, I think this is what we're gonna offer him. It's a pretty team. It's a pretty player-friendly deal, honestly. Just not as much money, maybe. But uh, here we go. Let's see what he does. He accepts it. So, got Jalen Brown, Denzel Perryman. Even though I love him in real life, I just don't see him being on the team, man. That's too much money that he's wanting. Um. For such a, a an aging guy, he's kind of slowing down. His speed's not all there. He's not the best in coverage. He's a tackling machine. He's good in the run game. Don't get me wrong. But I just don't think he's going to be here for the team. I think we're, we're probably going to draft a middle linebacker and try to develop. Or maybe um, even sign another veteran with some better tags, mentor tags, to maybe uh, develop some linebackers anyways. But... So Denzel Perryman, probably not going to be with the team. Um, Kyler Fackrell, not going to be with the team. Not going to be with the team. Jonathan Hankins, not going to be with the team. Pretty much most of these guys aren't going to be with the team besides Tyron Johnson, maybe Mac Hollins. Okay, guys, we're going to sign Josh Jacobs to a huge contract before he starts asking for more. Um, I don't know, man. I think this is different. I think this is decent. Let's get him down right now. He had a big game just a game ago. He's doing okay on the season. I'm going to try to get him under a contract right now. And he's probably going to accept it is a player-friendly one. And he is excited to stay with the team. So, boom, Josh Jacobs is down. And the reason I really wanted to re-sign him is because Trayvon Mullins, we might franchise tag and then just try to trade away. I don't know if we keep Trayvon Mullins. Um... It depends how he does this year because in real life he did get traded away and uh, I like to keep my Raiders Raiders man so we might draft a corner and uh, leave Rocky Sin and Nate Hobbs um, to be the starting guys and maybe develop a third guy behind him I don't know but who knows Trayvon Mullen he is having a decent season so far here we go let's get into the weekly strategy real quick and I don't know why it's on can't contain QB scramble. Uh, Matt Ryan is having some decent run games, I'm guessing. But no, we are going to defend the inside. Um, Jonathan Taylor, he's a beast, man. we got to be careful for him. It looks like he's doing pretty good on the inside, too. He's got the eighth most touchdowns inside. He's got 399 um, 
yards inside. So let's defend the middle. For the offensive game plan, it doesn't look like their run de their defense is giving up a lot of run yards. Does not look like it. Um, they got Stephen Stephon Gilmore as a corner. Kind of did not know about that. Kind of forgot about that. Regardless, though, they got Darius Lennard. We're going to choose to throw it medium. Why not? So let's do it. Throw medium. Okay, looking at the developing guys. These are the ones we're going to develop. Even though they are developing pretty slow, though. Alex Leatherwood, though. He's coming along. He's having a decent season so far. Uh, Zamir, definitely need to try to get him more involved. Here we go, though. Hopefully no injuries, man. The injury bug has been hitting us. And a quad strain, Mac Hollins, so he's out of the game. But nobody else on offense, on defense. This is where we've been taking the big hits. Nobody on defense. Let's go, man. Mac Hollins out, but we should be okay. Here we go. Got a couple upgrades. Um, oh, Malcolm Kunsi did have a two sack game last week in his first start. We're gonna continue to upgrade his speed rushing. Andre James is also getting a point. We're going to choose to upgrade his pass protection. Two pass block finesse and one block power. It's not too much, but I'll take it. Jacob Johnson. I do not like him, but we will upgrade his blocking. See what he can do. Got a bunch of upgrades. Maybe he'll perform a little bit better. All right, y'all. Look at this. We brought in Josh Gordon to finish the season with us but pretty much just for this game and uh if we have any more wide receiver injuries um with matt collins out we were only going to suit up with four wide receivers and uh, i think we need a little bit more depth than that so we brought in josh gordon he does have a mentor and bridge player tag so he's pretty good he can, can uh, help us develop our players here we go let's take a look at the colts um team real quick you know at quarterback they have matt ryan at running back, they have Jonathan Taylor, but he is injured and out for this game. So that's going to be huge for us, bro. That's going to be huge for us, actually, because we're going to be game planning for him. But now we don't have to watch him, so that's going to be huge. Naheem uh, Hines, though, is going to be getting the start. He's a really lovable player, likable player. I like to see him getting a chance to shine. But uh, we're going to have to watch out for him. At wide receiver, their starting wide receiver is Michael Pittman Jr. Um, in his third year. And man, look at this. Cole Beasley on the Colts now. We have to be careful about Cole Beasley, man. He can get loose. He's hard to cover. 5'8", little quick guy, man. We got to be careful. When he was with Dallas, this man was unstoppable. Uh, third string wide receiver, they got Paris Campbell. And John Ross, the former Bengal man. This guy was supposed to be a beast, but kind of got injured a little bit and things didn't work out. Nonetheless, though, still got to watch out for him. 95 speed. Dude is a fast guy. Also got to watch out for Paris. 94 speed. These guys can stretch the field. Coming in the tight end, they have Mo Ali Cox. I like this guy. He always comes in with them dark visors. This guy can play physical, man. He's a big guy. Got to watch out. I left in. We got the former Raider, Yannick Ngoku, I think is how you say it. This guy has a lot of talent. This guy can get to it. We have to watch out, man, especially as a former Raider. He's probably going to be headhunting for Derek Carr, man. He's going to be coming for us, so we're going to have to watch out. He's a captain on their defense, too, man. So, got to be careful. At right end, though, we have Quiddy Pay in his second year. He's pretty good, man. He's developing nice. At defensive tackle, we got the former 49er, DeForest Buckner. And this guy is solid, man. This guy is really good at stopping the run. Um, we got to be careful. Right behind him, we got Grover Stewart. Their D-line, man. Their D-line is going to be hard to run against, man. We're going to have to establish the run game no matter what. We're going to have to pound it out. Coming at left outside linebacker, the all-pro Darius Lennard. Um, coming in his fifth year. At middle linebacker, we got Bobby Oriki. I don't know how to say that. I'm not too familiar with this guy, but he looks pretty good. So we got to watch out. Oh, and then we got the former giant, JPP, Jason Pierre-Paul, man. This guy's a beast. Coming in his 13th year. He might be a little up there in age, but he can still get to it. Definitely in Madden. 
Got to be careful, man. Their run game, their run defense is going to be hard. Um, Stephon Gilmore coming in at their starting cornerback. But behind him, he doesn't have much. I'm not too scared. Uh, Derek Carr should have a big game, man. Isaiah Rodgers and Marvel Tell, they're young. They still have time to develop and grow. But, man, we have a chance to come out here and throw, throw 300 yards maybe. I don't know. Stephon Gilmore, if he locks down Devontae. I don't see these guys covering up Darren Waller. I don't see them covering Josh Gordon. Um, no. Free safety, though, they got Julian Blackman and his strong safety, Rodney McLeod, McLeod Jr. or something. I think he comes from the uh, Seattle Seahawks. Um, decent player, decent veteran player. But other than that, though, their pass defense isn't looking that good. And, man, we're going to get right into this game. Week 10 against the Indianapolis Colts. We're going to come out here in our 1970s classic home uniforms. But we're going to go all white with the socks. We also got the Colts coming out in their color rush uniforms, though. And uh, here we go, man. This is a big game, man. We can't lose to these petty teams. We got to win these. So let's go, man. Let's get it. In Las Vegas at Allegiant Stadium. Let's do it. Six point two yards per game. This is gonna be a battle between the Colts offense and the Raiders defense, man. A top tier offense and a top tier defense. Gonna battle it out right now, man. Let's get it. And we are receiving. So man, we have to make points here, dude. Not getting some points on our first possession would suck and not getting the ball after the half. Here we go though. I'm gonna take this one out with Isaiah Zuber and not able to get much. Just getting us to the 22 yard line. Here comes Derek Carr in his opening possession of the game. 1,600 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 21 interceptions on the season so far. Not a good season, man. Not good stats at all. But he has been improving in the last three games. And let's see if we can continue to improve. First play of the game. We're going to come out here in a run. And shit, they are stacking this line. But anyways, we're going to come out here in a run. We're going to run this to the left. Why not? First play of the game. Let's do it. Josh Jacobs, see what you can do. After signing a big contract and an easy pickup of five yards. You already know, man. We're running an RPO. The future of football. But Josh Jacobs, just over 500 yards in the season. Eight games in, I kind of want to see more from him, but here we go. Oh, and Josh Jacobs hit hard, only able to pick up a yard. Here we go. We're going to run a couple of drag routes. We don't want to stall out here on our first possession of the game. So here we go. Looking for Devontae, maybe Tyron Johnson. And no, we're just going to possession catch this with Hunter Renfro. Take the wide open guy, take the yards that we can get. Keep the chains moving. Probably could have got way more yards on that. Devontae was looking like he was going for a block. But it's all good, man. Let's just get that first down. Keep the chains moving. Man, and not able to get much. Josh Jacobs losing a yard. Josh Jacobs lost a yard on that play. But I'm not even tripping, man. We're going to run a half pack wham. See what we can do up the middle. Man, and Jacobs losing the ball. Look at this. Josh Jacobs loses the ball. Who is this? Pay. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I can't. What is his name? Quiddy Pay comes in from the right end spot and just destroys Josh Jacobs. Not even really, actually. Just pretty much, I can't tell. Punching the ball out. It looks like. Who is that? Bobby Yoki, um, Kiriki, 
whatever his name is, it looks like he comes in and starts to strip it. And then Quiddy Pay just punches it out. Thank God Alex Leatherwood has the awareness and comes and sits on it. It's going to set us up with a third down and four, man. But I'll take it, dude. Better than nothing, right? Regardless, I'm looking for Darren Waller here. Maybe Tyron Johnson. Oh, and Darren Waller picking up the first down, but he was hit hard on that play. Four yards, dude. I'll take it. But I think I'm going to switch this. I'm going to switch this to a slot, a slot corner. I'm looking for Hunter Renfro or Josh Gordon. And boom, Josh Gordon in his first game with the Raiders picking up a good game for us. 20-yard reception on the play. Look at Josh Jacobs sealing a nice block. Here we go. We've been running it. So on first down, we're going to run some play action here. I'm looking for Blake Jarwin. And boom, big Jarwin wide open and running a man over, picking up an extra yard or two and getting us a first down. Man, Raiders are driving right now. We're keeping the chains moving and burning a lot of clock, actually, in this first quarter. Here we go, though. We're going to hand this ball off to the right side, see if we can get outside. And Darren Waller and Josh Jake, uh, Jacob Johnson, I mean, not able to seal that block. We're going to lose a yard. Here we go. I think I'm going to throw this to Hunter Renfro. I'm liking these routes so far. And that's going to be an intentional grounding, isn't it? All right, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Um, Darren Waller might get open. I doubt it, though. Um, we might just chuck this up. To Devontae Adams, maybe Tyron Johnson. Just try to stay in field goal range here, though. And Darren Waller able to pick up a good gain, but not enough for a first down after a couple of boneheaded plays. But at least we have a chance to come out here and get three in the opening possession of the game. At least we get three, right? We don't want to just come out here and get a flat out zero. Look at that. KC, the Kansas City Chiefs, barely beating the Jaguars 24 to 21. So, man, a win here is crucial. We can't sneak too far behind, man. We're finally creeping up. we got to keep the momentum going with this. Got to get a win here. Colts aren't going to return this. Now we're going to get our first look at Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, 2,500 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. Pretty much a 2-to-1 touchdown, uh, two touchdown interception ratio. Matt Ryan is not balling out the same way as some of these other guys are. So we just need to come out here and do our thing. Defend the run game. Make Matt Ryan beat us with his pass. Oh. And a big hit on the first play of the game. Fumble. Who was that? Paris Campbell got smacked. Paris Campbell sneaks in there and gets a pass right in front of Denzel uh, Denzel Perryman and runs up field and just gets absolutely decapitated by the hard-hitting Jonathan Abrams. And boom, that's a huge fumble, man. Just picking up three points, and now we're getting the ball back in pretty good field position, damn near in field goal range already. Big plays. Jonathan Abram, man, I'm glad he's on the team. I'm glad we re-signed him. Let's go, baby. Two fumbles in this game already, but the luck seems to be on the Raiders' side. Everything working out our way. Oh, Maybe expected a little bit too much from Josh Jacobs there. But nonetheless, good attempt, good try. Here we go, though. Looking for Adams. If the linebackers drop, we will throw this. And that was such a horrible throw. That's my fault. But here we go. Derek Carr 
Throwing an interception in the first quarter. Isaiah Rogers picking us off. Man, this offenses are looking scary, man. Offenses are looking scary. Oh. Naheem Himes dodging Jonathan Abrams. Second down to two. After some stupid throws, stupid plays. Just getting the ball back, and we're already turning it back over the other way. And, man, now we're leaving. Granson, I don't know who that is, wide open. Okay, that was a good play action. Now the Colts are driving on us, man. Almost in field goal range already. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, and Jayon Brown, really good coverage on that zig route. Jayon Brown covering the fudge out of that zig route. Here we go. Going to stay in the middle with Jayon. Boom! And taking out his legs. Jayon Brown making some huge plays in this game. After signing a five-year contract. I think it was four-year contract. Denzel Perryman, too. Nasty linebacker core. Nasty, nasty linebacker core. And I'm not liking this. I'm going to change this up. Here we go. Jayon Brown on Mo Ali Cox. Oh, and they can't even get this off. They might be out of field goal range. Malcolm Kunsi, Bile, Nicholas all coming in and getting a little bit of pressure. And they're going to attempt a field goal here, man. I'm going to play some defense. Don't want no fake field goals going on. But I don't think they make this. And they barely make it. Colts go up three. Now the game is tied three to three. Barely making that one. It's all good. We held them, man. They had good positioning. That was just a messed up pass by me. Fuck. Derek Carr. He's playing better, though. Oh, and Isaiah Zuber almost getting loose. Here comes Derek Carr after the costly interception, man. Stupid interception. We're just going to put this in our fucking hand. Uh, Josh Jacobs' hands. Our running back's hands, man. See what we can do on the ground. Oh, here we go. Oh, Hunter Renfro getting in the way, man. I tried to get outside there. Good carry on that play by Josh Jacobs. Now we are going to run some five wide here. See what we can do. And Devontae Adams can't rotate his body and spot the ball. And now we're going to just run the ball here. Try to make this a third. Oh, nah, they're pressing. They're pressing Devontae Adams. We're going to send this. We're going to send Devontae Adams deep. You know the drill, man. If you're going to press Devontae, I will throw it to him. And Devontae gets nothing. I'm still going to chuck it to him. And how was that not passing interference? I don't know what that was. It wasn't trying to let me... Uh, It wasn't trying to let me jump in the air or nothing. So whatever then, I guess. Anyways, though, I'm looking for Blake Jarwin here or Devontae. And wow, what an embarrassing possession by the Raiders. And here we go, punting this ball right back to the Colts. Amik Robertson able to bring him down. And here comes Matt Ryan. Our defense has been good so far. Uh, Jayon Brown bringing him down, but that's a first down. Oh, and they're coming out in the five wide. We're bringing a little bit of pressure here. Oh, and Ryan getting hit on the play. I think that was Chandler Jones. Singing down in 10, man. We're going to bring a blitz. Going to bring a blitz. I'm not going to let him sit back there and have all day. And Hines getting a good one. Denzel Perryman. In great coverage, I cannot lie, bro. And what is going on here? That man is wide open. Jonathan! Oh, and I thought, who is that? Denzel Perryman had a chance to take that one back, and that's going to be it for the first quarter. Divine Diablo is starting, but for some reason, he's just not getting no playing time. But I can't complain. Denzel Perryman is having a huge game in this one. Here we go, Isaiah Zuber. 
Oh, Isaiah Zuber trying to get outside. Not able to, though. Still a good game. Let's go, man. Derek Carr. Let's lead the team to a win here, man. Let's lead the team to some points. Gosh, I'm trying to get yards, but their D-line. The Colts' defensive line is just fucking outstanding, bro. Here we go, though. Gonna try to run some flood to the right side. See what we can do. Oh, and Hunter Renfro able to snag that one, but that's going to leave us at a third down and four. But I'm liking this play right here. Tyron Johnson, Darren Waller, if they send a blitz here, guys are going to get open. And they didn't send a blitz. It was a fluke. Oh, and that's almost picked off. Oh, my goodness. Derek Carr is feeling the pressure. We're going to have to punt this back to the Colts already. I don't know what's going on. I can't get no yards right now. Colts defense is playing good. Come on, Arik, Amik Robinson having good tackles on special teams. And now here we go, man. Divine Diablo finally coming in the game. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Hines looking like he was about to get outside on that play. And that would have been bad. Come on. Now they're moving the ball. Picking up a first down. Six yard carry. No biggie though, man. They're still not in field goal range. Big hit. Trayvon Morig. But dude, that's big yards. And now they're in field goal range. Okay, man. They're running all over us. We're going to switch up the defense. Come out in a heavy set. I ain't letting them get no more easy yards on us. Oh, and Hines is going to cut this back, and he's getting a good four-yard gain. That was actually something Williams. I'm not sure his first name. That's going to leave them with a third down and six. And here we go, man. This is a chance for us to fix it up here. Oh, and man, if we could have got that, but Denzel Perryman is playing <laughs> lights out. Look at this. Denzel Perryman is all over the field. Dude, if we could have intercepted that with Trayvon Mowry, that would have been huge. Here we go, though. I'll take it. This is not an easy field goal for this guy. He's got a weak leg. Oh, but he kicks that one right down the middle. And the Colts take a three-point lead on us. Here we go, man. We knew the Raiders' offense was struggling. But the Colts supposedly have a good offense, and they're not doing that good. Jacob Johnson, nobody's blocking. We're only getting to the 18-yard line. Like I said, though, the Colts have a high-powered offense, and we're holding them to six points so far um, pretty deep into the second quarter. So I'm excited. Eight-yard game by Josh Jacobs, though. You can't be that mad at the way things are looking, man. Josh Jacobs losing a yard, no gaining a yard. Oh, they're leaving this wide open. I'm going to run it. Fuck it. Why not? Oh, and Josh Jacobs going right up the middle for a big gain. The line collapsed on us, but Josh Jacobs makes something out of nothing, man. Let's go, bro. Finally getting something. Let's keep feeding Josh. Not able to do much. The offensive line for us just can't get anything done. Here we go. Here we go, though. I'm looking for Hunter Renfro or Josh Jacobs. And Hunter Renfro catching the ball, taking a pretty big hit. Stephon Gilmore delivering the hit on that one. And on this one, I'm looking for for Darren Waller or Josh Jacobs, man. Hopefully they don't expect a play action here. And Hunter Renfro, good catch. Stephon Gilmore, not able to do nothing on that one, man. Here we go, running this to the right side. And Josh Jacobs trying to throw a stiff arm on Gilmore. Man, Josh Jacobs is playing physical. They're stacking the box. I don't know, if we get outside here, maybe we're gone. Nonetheless, though.
Oh, man, we're getting yards. Josh Jacobs, another carry for 10. There we go, man. I'm going to run a screen pass here. I don't know. There might be a man coverage. We'll see what happens, though. I'm just trying to put the ball into Josh's hands. He's having a ball game. Oh, and Josh Jacobs able to get outside. Stiff arming a man. Not able to get in there, but getting us to the two-yard line. And the clock is moving. I think that was Andrew Norwell that cut that player and gave us just enough time to get out and get a couple yards. Now, here we go. Since we're on the goal line, we're going to run this ball at least a couple times and choose some clock, man. We don't want them to get any points before the half ends because they're going to get the ball right after the half. So, here we go. And Josh Jacobs not able to get anything. Here we go. That's good for us, though. Keep the clock moving. And now I'm looking for Hunter Renfro. Nope. Devontae Adams wide open. Had his man lost in the sauce. I think that was Isaiah Rogers. He has a pick on us, but man, he can't cover Devontae Adams. That's just not a matchup the Colts want. And Devontae Adams getting a huge step on him. And Derek hits him right in the chest, man. Good way to come back. Here we go, man. Let's kick this extra point. And get a four-point lead. Man, right down the middle. Good way to come back. And now we just have to hold them for 33 seconds. 33 seconds. And they'll get the ball at the half. But at least they won't be able to do a double point, double dip on us. We can't let them double dip on us. Naheem Hines having a ball game, bro. Five carries for 40 yards. Okay, and they're coming out in a five wide. Got to be careful here. Going to watch Mo Ali Cox with our boy Denzel Perryman. Oh, and Nate Hobbs going off. Nate Hobbs one-on-one -on -one with the Paris um, Campbell, I think, the rookie. Bro, they just on an island, and you love to see it, man. You love to see it. Colts not able to do much on that one. We're going to come back out here in a cover two man. We don't want to give up no easy yards, but we don't want to give up a big play either. So whatever. Let them take that, and they're going to burn another timeout. Maybe that was stupid. Maybe it was. Here we go, though. Oh, my gosh. I'm running the wrong plays. And boom, they're going to have to burn another timeout. Now, here's the thing. As long as they don't get out of bounds here, we're good. And he's not even going to get that one to his man. Almost an interception. That was almost an interception, if you ask me. Here we go, though. Where's Malcolm Kunsi at? Right here. We're going to try to pressure with him. And Paris Campbell over Nate Hobbs and Jonathan Abrams. Just absolutely mossed us. But still, not enough time to bring the field goal unit out. And we're going to go into the half up four points, 10-6 to six against the Colts. Here we go. Going to do a blitz cover there. But we're going to still choose to defend the inside run, man. Nate, uh, Naheem Hobbs or Hines, he's having a pretty good game against us. So we're just going to continue to defend the run game. Here we go, though, man. If we can stop them here, I think we I think we end the Colts' dreams, man. I think all their hopes disappear if they don't get points right now. Going to do our best to stop them. Defense has been playing really well. Oh! And Trayvon Mowry being a big hit. Denzel Perryman playing good defense. Or uh, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, really good defense on that play. And they're going to run this. And why is it sucking me into the block, man? We're going to bring some pressure with Kunsi. <laughs> Kunsi diving in for his legs. Only a pickup of two on that one. That's what I like to see. We're going to bring some pressure once again with Kunsi.
Oh my goodness, and he's picking up 12, 10 yards. And we're almost at the 75-yard goal, man. I don't want to let that 75-yard rushing goal get beat. So we got to lock up right now. Oh my gosh. I was actually only a three-yard gain. But we got to be careful, dude. They are creeping up on us quickly. Good tackle. Good tackle by Jonathan Abrams. Here we go, man. We got to be careful, though, now. I'm going to bring that pressure with Malcolm Kunsi. And not able to reach and make that tackle. Ruckus in. Nobody can make the tackle, man. And now they are at the red zone. First and goal, man. I don't want to give up a touchdown. Defense, bend but not break, is the motto. Oh, good play. Denzel Perryman and Jalen Brown are the MVPs on that one. And here we go. We're going to cover up the middle with Jonathan Abrams. Oh, my goodness. Almost getting in there. We're going to choose run up the middle, man. Here we go. This is where men are made. And they can't get it. Fourth down and goal. Are they going to kick? And they're going to kick it. Whew, so at the 10-yard line, defense stands tall and forces a field goal. And we hold the lead by a point. Good drive by the Colts. But good way by the defense to hold them off here, man. And that could be huge for the game. Oh, trying to get up there. Getting us to the 22-yard line with Isaiah Zuber. Josh Jacobs is hyped. He's having a good game so far. We have a chance to get Josh Jacobs above 600 yards in this game. See if we can do it. Oh, going to give him the receiving yards, though, and that's not going to be much. Yep, that was stupid. Here we go, though, man. Going to hand this ball off to Jacobs. And no blocking. Losing two yards on the play. And this is not good, bro. This is not good. Third down and three. Dude, we need a first down here. Third down and 11. We need the first down. Come on, guys. Boom and Josh Jacobs. I know he picked it up. Let's go. And we're going to run a hurry up offense. I'm just scared after that. Not going to cap. And we can't get anything going on the ground now. I'm not going to be afraid, though. I'm going to keep this ball on the ground. Keep chewing clock. And wearing that defense down. Josh Jacobs, good carry for eight. This is huge, dude. A run right up the middle. We could throw this to Hunter Renfro. And we do. And that was so dumb. That was so dumb. I don't know why it came like that. I thought it was, uh, it's just a precision passing probably. I thought Hunter Renfro was going to get it in stride. And that is a boneheaded play. And now we're kicking this off to the Colts. We try to get special, try to get crazy with these. Oh, come on. Make a big tackle. Good play by special teams. Man, we tried to get shifty. Try to get, um, I don't know what you call it, but try to do something great on offense. And it just comes around and bites us in the ass. And we miss a tackle, man. And Hines is having a game. Player of the game for the Colts. Colts are moving on us. Good tackle, Nate Hobbs. Fuck yeah, man. Make a big hit. That's what we need, man. We need people to make big hits. Here we go, though. We're going to man this up with Denzel Perryman. Probably going to be an inside zone run, and it's not. Somebody make a tackle. Trayvon Mullins gave up a ton of yards on that one, dude. And they're going to let this go into the fourth quarter. I'm going to bring some pressure with Kunsi. And no, oh, they beat us on the outside. 
Michael Pittman Jr. able to pick it up the first down. Defense keeps trying to get off the field on third down, but we just can't do it, man. They keep picking up the first. Big hit, Jalen Brown. Hines only picking up a yard. Kunsi on the running back, so we're going to watch him. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, and Rock is seen getting beat by Michael Pittman Jr. And now the Colts are already in range to take the lead here. The Colts can take the lead with an easy chip shot field goal, man. As long as they're not dumb. Boom, and they're not going anywhere. Losing three yards on the play. Come on, defense. Let's try to get an interception, man. Nate Hobbs wrapping him up, but that's a freaking... 10-yard gain right there, practically. 11-yard gain. Okay, here we go, man. Third down. And that was our man. I just couldn't cut. Paris Campbell and the Colts are going up by six. Might go for a two-point conversion, and they are. Colts going for a two-point conversion here. Let's hold them, man. If we can hold them, this will be big. I don't want to I don't want to give them the points, man. No points for them. There's nowhere for them to go, but Chandler Jones not turning around. Chandler Jones, you got to fucking turn around and jump for that ball, man. Just like that, the Colts are up seven. Eight minutes left in the fourth quarter here. We're going to let this bounce out the back. Oh, yeah, man, we're being shut out. We need to get some points. Gosh, if people could just get out of the way for a minute. All good, though. I will take the damn. I will take the seven yards. Devontae Adams able to pick up that one. That's a good 10-yard throw by Derek. I'm getting scared here, man. It's hard to move these chains right now. We're going to cheat. We're going to keep going for it. Josh Jacobs steady lowering the shoulder. I'm going to change this to a tight end attack. Change Devontae. I'm looking for Devontae here. And I don't know how Devontae gets his toes down, but it says he does. Indianapolis challenges it, and it gets overturned. Here we go. Third down on three. This is crucial, man. Crucial, crucial. We need somebody to get open. Hopefully, they don't expect the play action. And Darren Waller able to pick that up. Fourth down in inches. I think we're going to go for this. We're going to go for this, man. Oh, and Josh Jacobs fighting his own teammates, man. Come on. Josh Jacobs is the player of this game, bro. Here we go, though. First down and 10. We're going to run a play action. Hunter Ranfro, good catch. Derek Carr spots him right in the middle of the field all alone. Good pickup, man. We need to keep the chains moving, though. I'm looking for Tyron Johnson coming across the middle here. Here we go. Devontae Adams not able to get nothing. Okay, man. I'm looking for Josh Gordon on this one. I'm getting scared, though. Come on. Somebody get open. Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs is a dog. Trucking two people and picking up the first down. What an absolute man amongst boys. Boom. Boom. Nobody can get him. Matter of fact, there's safety. I don't know who that was. Looked like Rob. Mm, I can't see the number, but it was either Julian Blackman or probably, uh, I can't say his name, but man, they're strong safety. He didn't want no smoke. That's all I know. We're going to keep this moving. I'm rolling out to my right side here. I'm rolling out to my right side, and we're going to get rid of it. They're going to play on this weird defense, so we're going to run it. We're going to run some play action. Boom, Darren Waller taking a big hit by Stephon Gilmore, and this is going to leave us with a third down and seven. But if you know me, you know I love to run this play here. I'm looking for Tyron Johnson. 
Here we go, man. We just need seven. And Tyron Johnson picking it up. Raiders down at the three-yard line. All right, man. We need to score pretty quickly. I don't want to let the Colts get a game-winning field goal here and not able to do much. Exactly what they said. Nowhere to go. Here we go, though, man. I'm switching this to a slant. Fuck it. Hunter Renfro, Devontae Adams, get open. Derek Carr tried to roll out and get loose on that one. It wasn't working, though. And here we go, man. Gonna flip this around. Fuck, dude, I'm scared. Looking for Hunter Renfro again, maybe. Maybe Tyron Johnson. And Tyron Johnson, fourth down and goal. We're going to run some play action here. This has to work, dude. This has to work. I'm looking for Darren Waller or Josh Jacobs. And no, Devontae Adams wide open. The cornerback blitzed and left him there open for a slant. We pull out of that play action and just give it straight to him. And now we have a chance to tie this game with an extra point kick right now. And this is crucial, man. Crucial, crucial. And that's right down the middle. But the Colts have three timeouts and a whole minute and like 50 seconds. Almost two full minutes for the Colts. Dude, we're going to have to be careful here. They can get a field goal and win this game. Somebody make a big hit. Somebody make a big hit. Ugh, somebody make a big hit. Trayvon Mullen coming from nowhere and delivering a big hit. And now they have it at the 12-yard line. Good special teams, man. Matt Ryan in the clutch, dude. Come on, Malcolm Kunsi. Have a big game. Have a big game. There's a flag on the play. What is it? Got to be a holding, right? Boom, we're going to accept it. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. I'm bringing pressure with Malcolm Kunsi. And we can't get anything. Somebody make a tackle. Holy crap, man. They're going to run a hurry up offense. I'm getting scared, bro. I'm getting scared. Somebody make the tackle. Big hit, Nate Hobbs, but they're going to keep moving. They're going to keep moving. And holy shit, we can't get no pressure with nobody. Malcolm Kunsi. Trayvon Morig seals the fucking interception. Way down the field. Paris Campbell, one and one. Tried to get behind the defense, but Trayvon Morig comes in and picks Matt Ryan off. And that saves us, man. Matt Ryan overthrows Campbell a little bit, and Campbell doesn't even try to go up for it. Now with a minute left in the game, we have a chance to go up big here. A minute left in the game, bro. Three timeouts. Let's get this shit. Come on, Carr. This is what you're made of, man. This is what you're made for. Boom. Tyron Johnson... We're going to run some hurry up offense. Here we go, man. Fuck it. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Somebody get open. And no, we throw a fucking interception. How? How does Devontae Adams not get in front of that? How does Devontae Adams not get in front of that, bro? Right through Devontae's hands. Wow. I thought for sure Devontae was going to come down with that. But Rodney McLeod Jr., or whatever his name is, comes in and intercepts that. This is insane. We, ha we can't let them get any more yards. Big hit. 
And they're gonna call the timeout. Oh my god. This is fucking insane, man. Colts have a chance to get this dub by a field goal, man. And it's not sitting right with me. Come on, man. And they're just going to keep running the clock out, man. They're already in field goal range. This is crazy. Good tackle, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, and they're going to try to kick this as time expires. And right down the middle, the Colts win the game on the final kick of the game. Derek Carr had a chance to seal this one, and we choke it on the final drive of the game. Man, this is a tough one. This one's going to steam. Derek Carr with a couple of boneheaded turnovers. Man. And now we're going to fall to 4-5 and five on the season. Matt Ryan, 75 completion percentage, 29 attempts, 22 completions, 240 yards, one touchdown and one interception that could have costed them the game if it wasn't for fucking Derek Carr throwing it and losing us the game right afterwards. Fuck, man, 67 completion percentage, 191 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Not the worst game, but just interceptions that costed us that interception at the end of the game costed us the game man we didn't need to go that way we could have went into overtime but shit man hey it happens four and five the season's not over so we still have chances to improve anyways though naheem hines had 85 yards that would beats our goals josh jacobs 21 attempts for 82 yards he's a workhorse but the line just doesn't consistently get us holes or nothing man it's not much we can do he had one horrible fumble but it didn't cost us a turnover so hey we can't be mad at it we can't be we can be mad at it but we can't blame the loss on him for the receivers hunter renfro coming in with five receptions 57 yards josh jacobs also coming in with four receptions for 40 yards man josh jacobs was having a huge game bro he was catching all the balls he was receive he was running decent when he can making nothing out of something but Man, Devontae Adams, pretty quiet. Three receptions for 12 yards. Josh Gordon had a pretty good clutch catch. That's what we needed. That's all we needed for Josh Gordon. Um, you know, picked him up for one game pretty much. But, uh, hey, when you come in, make a play. That's all we need. See, blocking. Nobody gave up any sacks. It's telling me. Jalen Brown, all over the field. 13 tackles. Jonathan Abram, nine tackles. Perryman was seven tackles. He was all over the field. Perryman and Jalen Brown were the monsters on defense. Um, Jonathan Brown did have uh, Jonathan Abram did have a fumble though, so that was pretty good. Anyways, though, Jalen Brown had a tackle for a loss. Only one with the tackle loss. We didn't even get sacks on this game, man. Ah, <sighs> sucks, man. Just. This is going to be a painful loss. If we could have got a little bit more pressure at the end or anything, man. Anyways, though, Trayvon Morig had an interception. Pretty much should have sealed us the, the game, at least until overtime. But Derek Carr fumbles that one for us. Nate Hobbs with that pass deflection against Paris Campbell on an island deep. Love to see it. Denzel Perryman with the de a pass deflection. Jonathan Abrams with his forced fumble. That's the end of that one. Let's take a look, though, at the Unstoppable Force, see what they have to say. Clearly a tall task this week, taking on an offense of this caliber. Is there anything to take away from this game, given the result? Just that we need to be better. Any week that you don't win leads you down a path where you have to evaluate why that happened. This week is no different, and we'll figure it out. Yes, we will, man. Failure to win and meet expectations against the Colts has resulted in negative 5 morale for all defensive players. Not good, man. But it's all good, man. We had a three-game win streak. Here we go. Let's see what we're going up against next week. Chargers won their game. Chiefs won their game. So we're kind of falling behind, but shit, man. We, we're we're going to have to go on a big, big streak. I think we can do it. We got some tough games coming up, though, man. But 
Here we go, though, man. Week 11, we're going against the Denver Broncos. I think we already lost the game to them, too, so... Um, we got to win here, man. We can't let any more players, any more, yeah, we can't let any more players go. We have to catch ones from here on out in the season. We have to win games. Here we go, though. Before we get out of here, let's take a look at the top performers going into week 11. For the passing leader, we got Tom Brady coming in at 3,400 yards, 600, almost 700 more yards than Joe Burrow in second place. Also has 25 touchdowns, though. Behind him, Joe Burrow and Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, the first running back to hit 1,000 yards with five touchdowns. Derrick Henry behind him, 970. Saquon Barkley with almost 900, but he, the monster, has 14 touchdowns. Receiving leaders, Chris Godwin coming in with 1,000 yards, eight touchdowns. Behind him, we got Robert Woods and Mike Evans. Sack leaders, we got Nick Bosa coming in with 13. Melvin Ingram and Aaron Donald tied behind him for 11. Interception leaders, we got Byron Murphy with four. Marshawn Lattimore and Ronald Darby, all three tied with four. Tackle leaders, Kazir White with 79. And uh, Alexander Johnson and Jordan Brooks tied for first with 84 tackles. So, man, guys are getting crazy. Guys are getting busy. Anyways, man, what a tough fucking loss, man. What a tough loss. But, hey, we held a high-powered offense to just 17 points, man. We can't be that mad. 20 points, I mean, we can't be that mad. Uh, offense, offense is struggling. We need something to change on offense. This is ridiculous. But, uh, anyways, though, man, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, like and subscribe. Hit the notifications. I hope you all have a blessed day, and peace out.